Hi, Jennifer Lane here with Yellow Lane Designs. Today's project is this cute little file folder card. Um, you open it up and there's a greeting. Uh, it says, live simply, love generously, care deeply, speak kindly, leave the rest to God. Um, this card is a little involved because there's lots of steps to it and lots of parts and pieces, but I'm going to show you how to make it. So let's get started. I first started out with a piece of cardstock <clears throat> that was eight and a half by five and a half. And then what you want to do is cut one side a half an inch and that is going to be the front of your card the the one that you cut uh, next we'll go on to the punching with our envelope punch board you're going to start with the front first and we are going to line it up you'll see a little silver piece here inside the little bubble and what you're going to do is line it up to the very edge right there and you're going to punch and what that's going to do is give you a nice little clean <clears throat> start of your file folder and then the same side you're going to move your cardstock to three inches I'm kind of out of camera here so three inches and then you're going to punch again so you have something that looks like that then you're going to flip your paper and we're going to do the same exact thing on the other side so you're going to line it up to the end of the silver piece you're going to punch then you're going to move it to the three inch mark and you're going to punch again <clears throat> So now your piece looks like that and next we need to get a cutter and you'll see that this is the side that you do not want to cut. That's your pretty side. So we're going to cut off this piece right here. So what you're going to do is just line it up with the little channel that's here, the cutting challenge channel excuse me and you're just going to cut off that piece you're going to do the same to your other side so remember this is your good side and this is the piece that you're going to cut off you're going to line it up with the channel and you're going to cut that little piece off so now your card looks like this now you can bring your envelope punch board back in because on my card I did round this corner. And there you have it. There's the first start of your file folder. Now in my sample, let's bring it back in here again. This is a little belly band that comes off but you'll see I texturized or embossed the front and how you would do that um, is with your big shot so here's the folder and you're just going to line this up So you do have to wrap it around because of the paper size and this folder. But your sandwich is this, and then you're going to sandwich it in between your cutting pads. And then you're going to run it through. Let's see if I can do this here. And your front is embossed.
Okay, so next we'll work on our belly band. And basically how I did that is <clears throat> I just wrapped it here around the front and then you can fold it. You'll see where it lines up in the back and we'll just want to put some snail. right here and attach that. So now you have your belly band attached to your card. Next, so we can be done with uh, the envelope punch board, I have the inside of the card here, two pieces. I believe this is Bermuda Bay and very vanilla. And we're just gonna round the corners. So like in the previous, uh, <clears throat> videos I've done. Here's your corner rounder at the top of your envelope punch board. You're just going to put that in and punch. Paper's not, there we go. And you're just going to do all four sides on the vanilla piece and the Bermuda Bay piece. And so all our envelope punch board cutting is complete. So next we will move on to stamping because there's a little bit of stamping here. To finish this, we will attach the vanilla to the Bermuda Bay with some snail here. And then with Rich Razzleberry ink is what I used, we'll stamp the sentiment. I read you guys the sentiment that I used, but I'm going to use a different one on this card. This is Trust God stamp set, and I'm going to use God has given us two hands, one to receive with and the other to give with. So that's what I'm going to stamp on the side there. And I just stamp to one side because that gives you some writing uh, that you can do on the other side. And then you can put that inside your card. And we were done with that piece. Next, you'll need um, two scrap pieces of paper in very vanilla. And don't worry, I'll have all the dimensions of all the pieces that I used in the description box so you guys can refer back to that um, if you want to duplicate it. The flower that we are going to stamp comes from the flower shop, and I'm using this one here with a little bit of texture, and I stamped that in rich razzleberry as well. So let me get that inked up. This flower set does have a punch. Um, it's a little tricky, so hopefully I will get it right the first time. Let's see if I can get this lined up and punched out. Some of the flowers like I said, don't like to line up. So sometimes you have to get creative. Whoops, I'm sorry about that. You have to get creative with your paper here. And like I said, this one is a little bigger. It likes to Give issues. Most of the time what I do is I try to uh, line it up beforehand 
and then mark my stamp accordingly. And see, I have this piece right here. I think I got it. I just have to get this piece lined up. And there we go. That would be the only difficulty in that stamp set is lining up the punch. Now, <clears throat> I punched out, I think this is Boho Blossoms, and I punched that out. Uh, I believe that's Delightful Dijon. And then we have some pearls here that there is sticky backing on them already. You just place that in the middle of this little flower. And that gets attached to the center of your flower. And then that piece is ready to go on as soon as we're finished with our stamping. The next stamp set that I will be using is Oh My Goodies. And I'm going to use this Live Well, Laugh Hard, Love Big. Again, I have a scrap piece of paper, very vanilla, and rich Razzleberry ink. I'm going to ink that up. And then with the Deco Label Framelits, that's the smallest one, I'm going to cut that out with the Big Shot. So let me bring the Big Shot back in and show you guys how to do that. This, I'm going to use a magnetic platform. So that goes down first. Next would be your cutting piece or your cutting pad, the paper. You're going to line up the framelit. And then your next cutting pad. And then you're just going to run it through the big shot. Let me get that another. And it cuts it out just like a punch would. Allows you to do the same thing. Now, I'll bring the sample back in here. And so we're going to layer um, with the framelits. I cut out a piece of, uh, I think this is delightful Dijon. I will make sure that I verify that and put that in the description. Bermuda Bay Rich Razzleberry. So the first step is this Rich Razzleberry Circle. Gets detached. It's just a little tiny bit. You're going to see not much. Then this gets snailed to the Bermuda Bay piece. And then we're going to use two Stampin' Dimensionals for this piece. And that gets attached to this piece. And then we'll bring in our card here. And this just gets attached. I just put the adhesive right on the belly band because I wanted to make sure that that's where it went. 
And then we can use a Stampin' Dimensional. to attach the flower. And there you have it. That's how you make a file folder card.